Ciao. Hi. And welcome to a terrifying glimpse of the future of cinema. Yes, it's the Bunny Saber Challenge. In my time, of course, I was the best. Well, seven was always my lucky number. Seven Aston Martins, seven dried martinis, seven at roulette. And now, alas, the number seven bust of the post office and seven outstanding CSA demands. <laughs> uh, life used to be much more simple. Um, elegant supper, a night of passion, and then I was off to the next country on another assignment. The anonymity of the firm was an enormous help. Mostly the ladies never knew my name. Ah, oh, ladies. Q's been rather useful in the wear and tear department. Can you, uh, you spot the hearing aid? No, I didn't think so. It's an implant. You know, it's amazing what technology can do. Mind you, I think it's taken a lot of fun out of the job. Most of the office cowboys now sit in front of computers all day. I couldn't do it myself. Would I risk life and limb and the odd dose of penicillin now for queen and country? Pension wasn't worth it, that's for sure. I'm afraid one's had to find other sources of income. Luckily, the expertise gained over the years has come in useful. I'm a consultant. Foreign travel, fashion, flying. Explosives. After all, everyone has their price. Oshmeyer playing sure any time you need it, night or day. We'll be plugging you to the best high school kids in the state. We know what it takes to recruit. Or it takes cash. <laughs> Coach Bryant, did you want to see Mr. Dwayne Hess this morning? Oh, Coach. I just stopped by to pick up my season tickets. Uh-huh. Well, listen here. I bet the Mayor Austin 500 bucks we'd stay within 21 of the Longhorns this year. Of course, we gotta start Billy Ray Morris. That the plan? My plan? My plan is to start you at fullback against UT. How about that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, ain't no need for that. You already got the right hands in the lineup. He was. Mike's gonna tear some longhorn ass this year. Giga Maggie. Good evening and welcome to this evening's Channel 9 News. Prime Minister John Howard has been forced to defend his election victory after it was revealed claims that asylum seekers threw children into the sea were not true. Opposition leader Simon Crean has accused Mr. Howard of winning a third term through lies and deceit. Here's Laurie Oakes. With the government's election... In a move that will mean big savings to the health budget, the government has decided not to subsidize Viagra. Users of the impotence drug will have to pay $70 per script. Brad Schmidt has the details. It's been hailed... And what if I was to tell you there was no such person as Tara Wells? You mean Tara Wells isn't her real name? More than that. Well, if she isn't Tara Wells, who is she? Stephanie Harper. Stephanie Harper didn't die in that hunting accident. She was badly mauled about, but alive. She made her way to a clinic in North Queensland, where for a period of six months she underwent a series of operations that completely changed her appearance. She then moved back to Sydney, calling herself Tara Wells. It's the craziest thing I've ever heard. I swear to you, it's the truth. But Stephanie Harper was pushing 40. That's right. I'm a very busy lady, Mr. Marshall. If you care Dr. to... Dr. Marshall. I'm the plastic surgeon who performed those operations. You can check me out with the AMA. I help create Tara Wells. And thanks for playing... The Bunny Saver Challenge!